If, I think this video will make some people angry. Really? What is it? Well, it's about democracy. Democracy is good, right? Well, that's exactly the problem. Hi, let's talk about democracy. When I was a kid, I was taught that democracy is the best. When you give one vote to one human and you let them vote in elections, you get a good government. But now that I'm older, I realize that I am wrong. The average voter doesn't know how to vote and that's why democracy doesn't work. Take this example. Let's assume you're going on a plane. But before you fly, you and the passengers must democratically elect a captain. So you get two candidates. The first one says, if you let me fly the plane, I will abide by international laws of aviation and fly at 30,000 feet. But the second one says, if you let me fly the plane, you can sit in business class. And in today's world, the average person votes based on emotions and lack of information. So naturally, they will vote for the person that promised them a business class. Democracy will elect a terrible person who's never flown a plane. And before you know it, we all crash. I am convinced that running a government is just like flying a plane. It's hard and it takes experience, years and years of experience. Tariffs, nuclear weapons, geopolitics, healthcare, borders. These problems need real professionals. It takes 10 years to be able to fly a plane. But in our government, anyone can vote and anyone can run. Democracy changes government every four years, but the real problems need 20 years to fix. Democracy is a good idea, but is it the best idea? Take China and India, for example. China, with its central government, lifted 300 million people out of poverty, while India, with its democracy, has 300 million people in poverty. I don't like China, but for some reason, they are succeeding. Don't get me wrong, dictatorship is not the answer, it is never the answer. But there might be alternatives to democracy that are worth exploring. Technocracy, epistocracy are just two examples. But for now, the problem is real. In the world's biggest democracies, politicians use fake news, lies, fears, and free money to get attention. And the democratic system allows voters to believe them in the millions. We are voting for people who promise us a business class and they don't even know how to fly. As someone once famously said, the best case against democracy is a five minute conversation with the average voter. Let's fix democracy before we all crash. See you next week. Assalamu alaikum. Let me repeat that video again. I think uh, it is very important to, to repeat this video again. to one human and you let them vote in elections, you get a good government. But now that I'm older, I realize... That... Guys, I think this video will make some people angry. Really? What is it? Well, it's about democracy. Democracy is good, right? Well, that's exactly the problem. Hi, let's talk about democracy. When I was a kid, I was taught that democracy is the best. When you give one vote to one human and you let them vote in elections, you get a good government. But now that I'm older, I realize 
that I am wrong. The average voter doesn't know how to vote and that's why democracy doesn't work. Take this example. Let's assume you're going on a plane, but before you fly, you and the passengers must democratically elect a captain. So you get two candidates. The first one says, if you let me fly the plane, I will abide by international laws of aviation and fly at 30,000 feet. But the second one says, if you let me fly the plane, you can sit in business class. And in today's world, the average person votes based on emotions and lack of information. So naturally, they will vote for the person that promised them a business class. Democracy will elect a terrible person who's never flown a plane. And before you know it, we all crash. I am convinced that running a government is just like flying a plane. It's hard and it takes experience, years and years of experience. Tariffs, nuclear weapons, geopolitics, healthcare, borders. These problems need real professionals. It takes 10 years to be able to fly a plane. But in our government, anyone can vote and anyone can run. Democracy changes government every four years, but the real problems need 20 years to fix. Democracy is a good idea, but is it the best idea? Take China and India, for example. China, with its central government, lifted 300 million people out of poverty, while India, with its democracy, has 300 million people in poverty. I don't like China, but for some reason, they are succeeding. Don't get me wrong, dictatorship is not the answer, it is never the answer. But there might be alternatives to democracy that are worth exploring. Technocracy, epistocracy are just two examples. But for now, the problem is real. In the world's biggest democracies, politicians use fake news, lies, fears, and free money to get attention, and the democratic system allows voters to believe them in the millions. We are voting for people who promise us a business class and they don't even know how to fly. As someone once famously said, the best case against democracy is a five-minute conversation with the average voter. Let's fix democracy before we all crash. See you next. Voila, voila. Asalaamu Alaikum. Mohirajam. Facebook is already claiming that video is from Nas Daily. I know it. Facebook should get out of my way, you know. Mohirajam. I was away, you know. I come back this evening. Onjaram. Former on no etanala on no family on no be Italy, Corrida on Pitobe. Good evening, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, before I before I go further, I want to wish as the protocol goes, you know, people believe it is 2022. Me, I don't believe that because this world is older than that. But hey, who am I to decide on capitalism? You know, somebody start yesterday to count. Or some two two thousand years to go to count two thousand two two thousand and twenty two years to go to count, and we all believe it. You know, it is not year two thousand and twenty two. This wall is older than that. So if you believe it's two thousand and twenty twenty, I wish you a happy new year. For me, I am not that long on this planet. I'm just forty two years in this planet now. So, and that is not yet forty two even next March. I will be. So I wish you all uh, prosperous. Whatever you are doing, every day counts. You know, stop counting and live. That is the most important thing. Oh here, I'm jam. Um, salmini on for kono kom protocol on yara tano ngandi imbebeng. I'll jam on what the fuck the country the dubi guluje di the teme the di the eh guluje di the eh noga di the ko ko yauti o si the fuck the country the ngurnal o aduna aduna no no buri dum. No girl out of foot, no good guluji did it. No guy did it. Ming on no me boyano, I don't know. Never time one I under or I don't know. 
tenno be nata dum dubi chapande na chapande na edidi so this wall is young to me so i i don't count i stop i don't count but i misal mini on for i will say to you all of you happy new year uh maybe you saw this uh you saw the video whether i was more know what they say uh, from nas daily talking about democracy so on that on video you will see absolutely <laughs> what is wrong with our democracy when people talk about democracy because democracy dega dega ko dum be nata government of the people by the people and for the people government himbe ben lamu himbe ben iwdo himbe ben fi himbe ben and ko dum be nata democracy ko dum democracy do be ono gambia kambe every 5 years got to be what i be what i suba himbe be vote na be be jonna be dole pour be what we run late in the you know america in camp in six four years and other countries you no know, serving democracy on you no know, duration of democratical you no know, you know in you no certain do be late go do the so uh say me me what you play or, or video uh the most important gambia friend on you what you vote they vote about the president but the most important votes that is the local government you know elections uno arde so i want to resume this program uh, that i used to have with some brothers that we call the way forward way forward like what do call contact some brothers brothers demand the, the way forward to talk about the way forward about our people you know because the elections are the local government elections are coming so i local government election uno arde no uh, we have to talk about them we have to talk about the elections you know not only the election procedure like campaigning and all those things and the election one on us daily go on all the video makodo you know in a one you know what do to 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 choose our democracy before we go into we practice democracy ko dum ko no video ko woni ko subu gol himbe be himbe daranto andu gol himbe be darnata pour be wawa himbe be because so subi himbe tum adani henry mane on no way and the man abe nyadi ibe be kaira to okay i uh, when you choose people when you choose people because they choose like political parties be what i choose candidates be what i lobby in between the political parties be what i choose him be be darnata and be one what just look at like our president adam obarono be what they mono choose without his choice you know thank you brother it's nice to know you are fine respect uh brother henry comes respect um alpha omar jalo and ev- everyone who is watching greetings to you all seasonal greetings for the new year's greetings i greet all of you so you will see uh let's you take an example of president adam abaro like he said on his own interviews he had never you know he have never thought of running for public office how uh, do you understand you understand he never think about that he never thought of running for public office you know in his life he wanted to be on the ground and he was just a somebody who is into business he's into, into the finances of his party but his party run into a situation whereby people trusted him to come out and be, to be a, a party leader to lead the party to stand for elections that gave him you know that make him without no choice you know to take the sacrifice because as if every militant so if you are a militant of a political party you are ready to lead that political party because you love the party you are, you agree and you want to see the development of that party so when people uh bro the telephone number my telephone number henry gomez my telephone number is on the uh henry money sorry my name is henry gomez the telephone number you see on the screen there is my whatsapp number you can call in everybody can call in down that is my whatsapp number you know if you call if you want to appear also here i can send you a link you will appear but i want i don't want to stay long today that's why i i just i'm just talk, talking about this uh, i want to i want to start this way forward program to talk to brothers especially people from from urr base and all those people all all around the gambia and also talk about talk to other gambian brothers the way forward the way forward is to to try to start now lobbying about talking about knowing you know inquiring about people or encouraging people that we know you know can and are suitable to represent 
a community, you know, like our national mass assembly members, our, lo our local councillors, the councillors of the area council. Oh, how, how is that possible? Oh, just, just Henry, just, Henry Money, that's my number. He said, I don't know, that's my number. It, just, it is my WhatsApp number. If you call me, you will get me. Oh, like I was saying, uh, we have to we have to start to lobby now. Lobby in a sense, especially if you are in a party. You know people who support your party, and you know them. They are they are they are they are capable of running the affairs. You know to represent like your community. We start start to start now. If you have your like our councillors, let's say, me let me talk about Basa. I will not talk about the whole of Gambia here because I don't know. I I don't want to be. I, let me talk about Basa. Because, like like Basse, I will give you an example for people of Basse. Let's let's say our councillors, people who are running the area council, from the councillors to the chairman of the area council to our national assembly members. You understand? These people, all these people, are voted for. You understand what I'm saying? So these people, we have to now we have to scrutinize them. Start to scrutinize them by now. We have to start questioning. Uh, uh, you can call me you you choose you choose to call me i'm i'm living in belgium i don't know where you live but it will be easy cheaper for you to call me on whatsapp maybe call me on whatsapp it will be best for you brother brother henry money call me on whatsapp you know it will be best for you it will be better for you you know it will call it it will not cost you you know money you know it will just it will be on your data call me on whatsapp what i was saying here is we have to start asking these questions I will I will start to invite some brothers, maybe Asan Jaite, you know, I will invite him here and order like like Alpha Omar, like order talk to other our elders, other brothers. We have to start and you also, if you think we have to start having these conversations. Let's say did the, the area the, the our national assembly member for URR, for, for Fuladu, or for Wuli, for Kantora, for Jimara, for Sandu, for for any all those all those all those uh, national assembly members we have to start to ask questions did these people did good did these people you know represent this our community our division our our you know did they represent did they they they, did they fulfill their mandates we have to ask these questions we have to start asking these questions yes if they do then do we have to do we have to encourage them to go further or do we think we have a person who is more suitable than them then we lobby for those people before these politicians will politics political parties will you know put people for us in in front of us i gave you the example of the president the president adam Obara. we are we are lucky that that man you know he is you know he's doing good you know people uh, people are people approve his uh, work that's why they give him a second mandate you understand they vote for him again I am not in the Gambia. I did not vote for President Adam Obaro. I cannot criticize him directly. I can criticize whatever he does, but I did not give him any money. I did not vote for him. You understand? Because I did not vote for him, so I I have no I I am not a, I'm not in the Gambia to, to 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 talk about him, you know. So, but as a, as a, a born somebody who was born in the Gambia, you know, I can follow developments and I also see like I, only thing I can do is. To talk about human human right abuses or uh, bad governance and all those things you know but people who voted for, for for these people have to think about you know whether we vote for them now or not you know because the local elections are coming now if you leave you know people will say ah boy politics me i don't want to inform me falaka town the horang politics me falaka nothing the horang politics politics is very important sa inya nothing ta undu ko my politics ko politics yambe ben subantama they will make choices for you and whether you like this choice or not if before you know they bring them in the ballot boxes and this then you don't have a choice most of people in in africa we vote we vote based on part not only in africa in all over the world people most of the time people vote you know on party lines you know if you are from the udp you vote udp if you are from pdis you vote pdis if you are from G, gdc or gmc or 
NPP, you vote on party lines. How do you understand? Even when you when even you don't even question, you know, the capability of uh, of those people they put on their on their they bringing you like you know. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you can see uh, it is very important now for us to start these conversations. You know, talk amongst us. You know, talks among us to to you know when we know our brothers. If I know like my friend, I say, okay, my friend Idris Anja is in Basse. He live in Basse. He know Basse. You know, I encourage him even if he don't want to. You know, maybe he will think twice. I say, ah, Idi, you are working in Basse. You live there. You know the problem of Basse. So why not you think about you know running for national assembly? Like like you know some years five years ago, these young brothers in Basse they did. You understand these young brothers they 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 just get out they make their own candidate because they they did not believe in they did not trust about the the candidates or people who were running under the tickets of the national all the, all the political parties they were able to have a young sister you know a vi vibrant and dedicated sister a community development sister you know who is Khadija, Khadija Tujabi who, who you know a young lady who they made as a candidate you know, even though she did not win the elections, but that they made those young brothers, they young the people, they made made a voice. You know, they make so that people know that you know they are they want to to choose their own candidates. So it is high time for us to involve into this. What and start conversation on journey. Me no me faraka boido handed or more because I I was not at home since on Friday I was away. So when I come back. And I see this video from Nas Daily. I say I would share it because I was thinking about starting this way forward. Maybe most of you people you 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 seen on it or several times. I invite some brothers. I ask them about what do you think about the way forward of Basse? How should Basserians, you know, you know, people of you are on Basse or Gambia in general? How should we go forward? What do, would they, they give their all own ideas? What I'm saying here is. If you don't start this talking about these things now, you know, people like us, we are away, like most of our brothers in UR are people who we are outside, but it will we will be very happy to see that, you know, we have the, the right people are, are choosing to run. Because I know even though, like if these young brothers in, in Basel, what they did the last time, if they happens to do the same, they will not win because the NPP will put a candidate, you know, and my that candidate might win the elections in Basse. So what we should do now is we, we should start the conversation now. And, you know, for those of you who are party uh, militants of these political parties, either NPP or UDP or any other political party, if you know anybody, if you know anybody who is who is suitable, into this into this position or the people who are already who are already serving in this position if you if you if you believe them if you trust them if you think yes you know the last five years you know let's say for for the likes of for Danjo, he is the chairman of the area council people of URR vote for him you understand you know he run under the ticket of UDP you know by then the coalition and all I don't know I mean I don't know by then you know but I know he's a UDP milit uh, militant so he won the elections. So people can now ask, what did Fode Danjo did for the last five years? Under uh, what did the area council did the last five years under his leadership? Because it's not about Fode Danjo. Fode Danjo is not. He don't own the money. He don't own the council. People vote for him. But his leadership. What are his leadership qualities? What did he bring on board? What did? How did he? How did he? How did he manage? How did he run that that council? You know. What did the council do for you, RR? You know, under his leadership. So, if people are satisfied, like if we are satisfied with him, we can say, okay, we don't have to. We have to encourage people to vote for Fode Danjo. Or no, Fode Danjo did not do. He, his leadership was poor. He did his the area council under his leadership. The area council did not uh, do good. So people will say, okay, we will not vote for Fode Danjo. Likewise, the councillors, you know, these councillors all are, who are there. Yeah, was these councillors? We are they supportive? Where are they bringing? Where are they representing the council? You know, where are they? Where are they carrying their functions rightly? You know, yes or no. If yes, we encourage people to vote for them. If no, we look for somebody who we think could have been the best person on the position. You understand? Then we we talk about these things. 
you know like the uh, magase me i'm not going to talk about the whole of gambia i'm talking i'm going to talk about base magase he is the national assembly member of you know fuladu you know of base we say okay they say okay did maga say the last five years we gambians voted a uh, baserians people of fuladu or kantora or Wule, or jimara or sandu or any you know they voted for him and they sent him to the national assembly was his country was he defending the interests of of the consequence you, uh, you know was he defending the the fulad or he was he defending uh was he mentioning the problems of uh, jimara or was he for, uh, uh, mentioning the functions of uh, kantora or or woolly or all those things we, where are they representing the community right you understand if yes we encourage people to vote for them if no we look for people who we think we should, could have done that job right you understand what i'm saying because if we don't do that now politicians the politic politicians will choose people for us that they trust amongst them you know either they are compensating them you know or or they you know from vote majority vote people can vote you you know while you are not the right person you know among but you are not the right person they give you because people might be they like me yeah apc i know him like my colleagues in person maybe they will say ah this is my colleague he's my friend ah apc these people are lampa or oh, blah blah and then they all the, all my friends will vote for me and i will have majority even though i am i am not the right person for the position and if i if this party like if i am under the udp or the npp i might win the elections you know and then i will run i will be sitting on that I'll be the one to run the affairs of the of the division, and while I cannot, I don't know, I don't have the know-how, I don't have leadership qualities, I don't have any, you know, I am not, I am not a, a team player, you know, I don't, I cannot, I am not innovative, I cannot bring ideas, I can, I'm not creative, I cannot, I cannot lead. So we need people. That's why I think in forty foot are the outer and journey, you know. You tell you to do in football, it can't be political parties in the football because if a foot ikere, if a foot ikere, one I go go interest one other, and they may they might be compensating people that they trust or people who have been who were very useful will not be what useful in the during the the campaign, the electoral campaign. I don't know when it's national assembly elections, local elections, I don't know when it is, but it is right time we talk about this. I will encourage some of our, my friends, some of the people, and I will contact some of our brothers and encourage them to speak, to come and talk, talk to Basarians or people of URR or come out to the Gambian in general. Because I believe, you know, if we, in what what they involve, in what what they involve in the democratic, in the democratic process. Democratic process on now you for the time election, then what and vote. So from the starting, from the grassroots, we have to start from the grassroots, like to get involved. Make sure that, you know, before we they put candidates in front of the ballot box, on top of the ballot box, you know, those those candidates are the right persons or the right people for the job because they might choose somebody who who might not be the right person for the job, and that person might might won the win the elections, and we will be stuck with that lack of good leadership lack of initiative lack of team leadership you know team team players if somebody who is not so so vibrant you know you know somebody who cannot lead and then we will stuck with that fight that person the community our community will be stuck with those people, that team for the rest the next five years to come you know because democracy in the gambia can change only every five years so you it's high time I will start it. I will start to talk about these things. I will start because I think it is very important. Even though I am not in the Gambia, I'm not in Basse, I'm not in URL, but I think we should encourage people, you know, to do to 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 get involved. For those of you people, on one be MPP bank, on be UDP bank, on be PDIS or any other political party there. It's high time what on food and what they lobby, what on lobby, you know, you not only not lobby to choose and encourage the right people to run for office, you know, encourage the right people to run for office. So what I need to do, 
se on wadani dum ah, political party ji ni be wadana en choose himbe be adda be you know si be addi be non ko ben wada be wadanta campaign ko ben ko ko, ko ben be jonnata buudi mabbe you know because sandari one of four day danjo en and all those people magase en you know even though magase had a strong background there because of the surrounding community you are be wadi mo support you know do what sinaru people like magase cannot win selluba you know you know and or, or Khadija Dujabi because you know me I I, I would even saw saw Darni Seluba Magase Khadija Dujabi because Khadija Dujabi what I know vote because I will not vote for Seluba I will not vote for 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 Magase for me for me say like a like, Seluba Seluba me I would have given him back I would I would always since on time feel like what you know APRC that you know not National Assembly I I was one of those Basarians who were against us. Because me, I ever since believe Seluba, his job on the local government was perfect. He was doing so much good, not only for URR, but for the Gambia, wherever they took him. He left something there. He was, he was very good under the local government. You know, he was doing good. So that's why me, I was not happy that Seluba left the local government and went for National Assembly. I don't know what is your opinion about opinion about that, but Seluba is now an elderly brother in the gang in Basse. He, he he might support any young young people who come out there because he's he's an open guy. He's he's a very good guy. Even though Koyete Bajo, Kono, he's good. So, let me find out what they're doing. But if you think I follow what they appear on this platform, you can SMS, SMS me. That's my number here. My number is not a secret. Every, I think my number is the most popular now. <laughs> people in you know, people, everybody have this number. In Nigerian Wind Island or for sometimes no no land or land PJ me and you know but I did that. I, I put my personal number there for the interest of the community for Basse. I am I have nothing to hide. I have nowhere to hide. I, I do nothing wrong. I am I am a very yours person. My number is not a nobody can fuck with it too because it is registered on my name so i have no fear so but i did that because i want to lead the conversation you know because then what i start journey like bill our life they don't know politician politician men don't know him baby i don't know what i lead conversation so i know me ali don't know johnny me johnny on example i have video my mother played from nice dali that is a very very you go back and look at that video again in the beginning. Go nice daily about democracy, whether democracy is working. Democracy can work only in what what, what the Ogola correctly. See tie in the beginning of the democracy. And the end in democracy go in vote to right. Kono the democratic process processes, the most important, the most valuable democratic process in election is where they nominate people, you know, not in public like we know like going to the IEC to to, to to register us for nomination for from the grassroots from like in the this national parties you know where they choose people to represent them because we are these national parties this uh, register political parties people vo win elections you know because people like the president Adam Barrow he could only be a president of the Gambia because of a, a big party like UDP which he was among, he, he was a, you know, a dedicated militant, you know, who was working under that people trust him. And they bring him forward to lead that party. When that party leadership is in post, in problem, that make him a president in the Gambia. Nobody can deny that fact. Because if the UDP never choose him, you know, as a candidate, you know, you know, the other parties will not convince their, their militants in, the, in that con Congress to vote for him. You can be you why know, you can sit down here and say God make him president. That is not true. God, God don't make anybody president. You know, that is just that is just Iman, that is just faith talking kohala gom in no. God don't make anybody president. We make people president because leaders are choose. God even said, I choose leaders amongst you. You know, so that's mean we amongst us leaders come from us, so we have to. We make leaders, we, we 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 make good leaders, we make bad leaders. It's nothing, it have nothing to do with God. But now we have to start now. We have to start this conversation now. If I know, if you know anybody, 
bring his name forward. Well, let's talk about him. Let's call him and encourage him and say, listen, we think you are the right person for the job. You know, and then you give him the hope of the quality, you know, they can lead. They have they have this leadership quality. They have they are so creative, they are so initiative, they are so open, you know, they are team players, you know, they have good qualities of leadership, but they are not these public public figures. They don't like this, uh, you know. Like the like most of him behave in the and the ming without a kind of politic need a politic if a lack of politic that I be under I do not make them focus politic so to encourage those people to listen if you do not come forward they will bring bad people for us and we believe you are the right person for this job please come forward and we will make sure you know that we will campaign for you. And we will make sure if you are a militant of the UDP, we will tell, we will make sure that people in the UDP know that we in Basse, we want you. Or, or those who in the MPP, we will make sure that one day those in MPP know that we in Basse, we want you. And we will make sure that the youth of Basse or the people of Basse rally behind you. You know, because among us, we know people. We know people who, who are very good people, very you know, they are very active in our communities, you know, and they live among us, you know. They are, they are involved in the day-to-day -day affairs of our communities. But when we allow, you know, by then, Sanari in the First Republic, if you look at in the First Republic, what was the main problem in the First Republic is they bring, uh, they, they choose National Assembly members who are ministers, and people who are living fancy life in the combos, they don't know even what is the problem of, you know, the the local people in people who are so in 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 the countryside. They don't know that because if you if you can vote for a minister to to be a parliamentary member or to vote all people who are parliamentary members who have the chance to become ministers, you know, those people live a fancy life. They don't. You know, like the other day, somebody got on what I know criticized or Adam Obaro, Adam Obaro, or President Adam Obaro in, uh, you know, Saku Maroko, $1,000. Do you think President Adam Obaro will go to buy rice? Oh, no, that man doesn't go to go, go buy rice. He don't know that. People, people might, might be these people are giving him wrong figures. They are giving him, like, bad, bad you know, information about uh, the, you know, the cost of living in Basse, in the Gambia. I hear once he was talking about, you know, about electric system, how the on and off of electric problem of electric on one of his interview. You know, I see people using his words, you know, when they, you know, they, they, they campaigning against him. When he said, now, before I come to power, before we come to power, it used to be about 15 uh, on and off electricity. Now it reduced to two, you know. President Adam Oboro doesn't know those things. He don't know these things. Because because his funds on you know you know in our in, in Africa in, in, in Africa we have presidents you know these presidents we give them like we we give them this monster monster seat like they don't they don't know know what is going on like our people here the PVDR we will tell our parliamentary members will tell people in the in the parliament here in Belgium you know or the minister they will tell them you know you people don't know what is the problem of the workers yeah. You don't know this because you people, or oh, you don't know the problem of uh, fuel because you you don't go to buy fuel. Your driver go to buy fuel. You don't know the problem of the the nurse. You know you hear people complaining about the 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 me medical problems in the Gambia, all this road or or education problem. These people don't know these things. You know, and people who will, who the people who will come should give them this information, not mislead them, give them false information to get, to satisfy them so that maybe. They will keep them in their phone zones, you know, while they are they are misleading them. President Adam Barrow might be misled to know that to think that a bag of rice in the Gambia is thousand dollars. While even me, who is in Belgium, I know a bag of rice is more than one thousand dollars in the Gambia. So you see, it's the reality because they they hide them from the reality. these people don't live like you and me, you know. We we exclude them from we give them this fancy life, you know. They don't live. They we immediately we vote for them, they become they they become we make them to become more than us, 
you know they they live more than us they think more than us they they think they are they they are better than us you know they have this protocol lifestyle so that's why we we have to scrutinize and choose our leaders amongst us i want you understand then we know these people we say listen if i put umar jaman boy in the minister of trade i know he will do it because he have the background his father was a, big, a businessman a very good respectful businessman who established himself in base everybody know him you know like you know if i put uh, this uh, if i put this man like somebody whose father is a, a mechanic you know if i put him there you know about you know i say ah, oh some don't know about mechanic i say ah oh he's from the background of mechanic you know his family are yeah, very good in mechanic his father was a good mechanic he might uh, even if he don't know it his father might uh, help him you know to you know to advise him in those things these are the kind of things this is how we choose our leaders but we don't allow politicians to you know po party politics to choose leadership for us if we allow party politic party politics to choose our leadership they will choose people they might choose people who to compensate them you know to compensate them people who are active in their party their party militants the people who do a lot for the party you know that doesn't mean if you do a lot for the party that doesn't make you make you the best you know you see no omar alpha eh naka german boy ang ho to bases ay base men jonete agriculture no problem men na bate guju guju men dal nante galle guju guju to men jonna ma guju guju wata na to ron ande guju guju so ala ella so this 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 are the kind of things we in photo food are in the yota First of all, what do you balance the the last five years? What I know before, before then what they scrutinize folks. Glanema four day than you high magase high last a can a money on councillors. We look, we balance them. You know, what are the what how was their the how did they perform during their five year mandate? Did they do good? Yes or no? You know, for the Daniel, was his leadership quite? Did he lead the area council good? Yes or no? What does he deserve to have an order term as a chairman of the area council? Yes or no? You know, yes. If yes, we encourage people to vote for him. You know what I encourage people to vote for him. If no, we we choose somebody who we think is better than him. So we campaign for that person. That's how it is. Maga said, you know, we have to also talk, talk about that. Or encourage him to, to step down because he already, I think he's this is his second term. He already he's there already second term, I think. Maga said, people like Maga said should not go back to the National Assembly again. You know, even though there is no time limit for national, I think national assembly members, or he should give chance to others. You know. So to discourage people like Magase from going to the National Assembly again, I know it will be very difficult because I know I hear that Magase is a very strong man in the MPP in URA. You know, I hear that people like Umar Sampo Sise also are also there. So Umar Sampo was a governor in in Basse. He was at the governor and uh, chairman of the Basse Area Council. You know, I don't know what these people how this. This, if they will not bring these people, he, I'm telling you things that are only co possibility. You know, co possibility is money on Holland. Then I'm not in Basse, but I know these people are very active in the po in the party politics. In the, this, like NPP, um, you all see what NPP did in URR. You know, they won landslide in URR. You know, you are they, they. I know the next coming National Assembly elections. It will be very vital that we make sure that even sitai ko UD ko NPP won be dar be NPP be dar na tabe si be choose be wada choose him be be wada choose people who are you know people that can lead you know people who have good quality leadership people who who are initiate creative and they can initiate projects you know they can go out and find projects and you know or like implement project implementations people who can who are team players people who are open to the to the people you know people who are you know people who can who can you know who can lead people who have good leadership qualities 
So, ko dun ko joni non fo den yuadde dun, ko joni fo den dun fo ade yautu de. We have to start these conversations. We have to start to talk about these things. Be lies saying what are you doing if you don't do this? You know, party politics, politics, political parties will choose their leaders, eh, choose candidates. And these candidates will be on their ballot box. And they will campaign for them. They will put a lot of money for these people. And these people will win. You know? And we will be stuck with these people for the next five years to come. So, what I encourage people, all of you people, from Carton to Koina, you know, if you are from Serakuna, make sure that, you know, you get involved. You know, encourage people whom you think they could do better than people who are there or those who are there who are doing good. You you encourage that they might, they give them the chance to run again, you know. So this these are the kind of things we have to start doing. You know, we have to have these conversations. We have to start having these conversations because, you know, si wana do rec, if not, party politics, political parties will bring candidates for you people to vote for them. And they will campaign. I will convince you people to vote for them. I give you a good example here. The president of the Republic now, he is a politician now. He's, he's a political party leader. But that man, he said on a record, and we all hear about it, he said he never wished to run. He never thought he would run for, for office. Until the leadership of the UDP went in had problem. When these people have problem, they approach him because he was one of the leading you know, people in the party, trusted people in the card. He was the treasurer. So his commitment to this to his party make him to, to sacrifice. You know, to say, listen, I don't want to run for, for public office, but I think it's time for me to step up. For, for the party. And guess what? When they go for this, you know, alliance thing, you know, his party convinced other political parties, you know, to make their delegates vote for him. You know, we hear here, brother, my party said he convinced his party people vote for, for him. And I know the rest of like UDP, uh, PPP and other people, you know, other political parties who went for the convention by then. Those people also did the same. They voted for 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 Adam Obaro to be the uh, the 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 coalition flag bearer based on the con the you know people convincing them to vote for him to make him the flag bearer and when when he become the flag bearer these people rally all Gambians behind him and these people Gambians vote in and outside the Gambia because of wanting a change they campaign for Adam Obaro without question without even questioning him without questioning his qualities, because UDP trust him. If UDP trust him and put him there, there must be a reason why they put him there. So that's why people trust him, you know? So this is why we have to start this conversation now. Encourage people, whether I encourage him, baby, and Nantane, the Yogi leadership quality, Benata, be, 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 st to step up, to step up for the community, you know? To, to enter into party politics or to come out as independent candidates, you know, so that they will have, you know, the mandate to, to, to bring changes. Like maybe on an, side, Ajodi Basaida, you are thinking about it, you have a lot of, you know, plans and objectives, you know, many, many, many initiatives, Ajodi into the community of Base. But you alone, you cannot do that. You don't be si be your nani madole, be your nani ala finance awa what our sans do the fus and their base. You know, or the matum water wa luda or our lude the whole community. You know, co individual development. Kono sitai, you know, we talk about, you know, you came out and you and you come to ask, you know, to for people to give you the mandate, be your nama dole, be your nama dole pro heba finance, pro adda mijo jima da di wawa add to the and to the sans and a community on at how i don't right you know more yeah man more yeah for you know could look at the colleagues say one that i do them you know so it is so comforting that like those things like president adam obaro now he can say you know okay me i did a lot of sacrifice even though i did not want it to be i run for office i run for office and i did this and i did this you know 
even though I was more I know the Kanko won't know on the UDP or John Nine of the ideas gonna be gold if I dear Mako. Gonna hand the Kanko Mojogi Dole. Kaloko Fala what? Kaloko Fala the Wada why what the convince. He's the he's the he's the he's the president of the republic. You know? Han sit down okay, people like look what he did in URR. You know? Sit down how I hand the Bofala no, you know, what the sounds of the PJ in the in their URR. Sit down on one no president. You know, oh I don't know what that. You know, call because of he oh yeah that on 2016 or that or what he sacrificed what we will what we will to stand for the for the party of UDP to come out and be a flag bearer for UDP. He sacrificed that. When he sacri make that sacrifice, he could make a lot of changes for his people from Manka Mankunda to to you know to to Fatoto to Koina. He could do that. You understand? So this is this is why we should also start now lobbying, you know, for political parties to choose people that we trust amongst us. You know, bring them to give these people the power so that these people can bring their leadership qualities, their ideologies, you know, you know, on board that can bring meaningful changes to for our people. Or else we will just have ball heads, you know. We will have, you know, politicians leading us. We will not have people who have, who have intellectual mindset, people who have good initiatives, you know, people who can, uh, you know, as as to like, you know, good good ideas ideas. I sit down on our ideas. You might be interested in anybody. What I accept, you know, if people give them ideas, they will accept them and they will make sure those that those ideas are implemented or those plans are you know you know brought to realities you know things like that you know so but i want people who who are not open people who are, who are not ready to learn people who are not ready to work with people people who are not you know people who do who, who, a lot they allow leadership qualities because this is the only things that's the only way we can we can bring Meaningful changes among our among our communities. First of all, is to be part of to be part of the democratic process from grassroots, like how they choose people who will come to represent us all. Be part of it. Be part of it. The way is either you want to be, or you think you have the qualities. You come out. You step up. Or you know somebody, you encourage that person to come out, and you know, encourage the community to choose amongst them the right people, you know, and you know, discourage political parties imposing people on us. But if we don't start the conversation now, it will be too late. You understand? I know, you know, we have young vibrant people I, I cannot talk for whole of gambia i am i don't know the whole of gambia i can only talk for base but what the young people of base santa su did into in the last national uh, national assembly elections the local elections that was outstanding but i am here saying again these young people now should start this conversation now the food food are they now joining the football on lobby to look amongst themselves, either them, Kampetigi, Madung, Bendara, Bimbebe, Andanta, won't be in their basse, Besiki, Koben Wawat, Besiki, no jogi good quality leaderships. They want to be encouraged, they want to step up, you know, either through the political parties or as independent candidates. You know, don't tell me independent candidates cannot vote win elections. We see the several times where Fuladu is. I don't know, you are, you know, in Basse, they choose, you know, independent candidates. So don't tell me that, you know, they, they could. Agase was an independent candidate, he won it. I think Umar Sampo, he said some, some time ago, that was a time also, I think, I don't know, from UDP or from independent, he won something like that. So don't tell me they cannot, you know. So, but we have to start this conversation now. Could you want to put that in the outer? At the outer, and then you bring them, 
you go around now before be fuddo wadde the choose camp etigi am in the political parties hay si tay ko camp etigi in their political party on on tawa be political party hay si tawa ko tawno wore ma because you know in a foyde ngandi the next national assembly elections the npp will win a lot of lot of those local and political those political you know national assembly and local councils we win a lot of them but now ono won be tombe ono tawa be di political parties you know ono 40 foot ad you know or else you get involved from now get involved in these parties you know so that you will be among the the lobbyists or these influencers to bring these changes ko dum fa no hal i know next week or i will try next week inshallah in the weekend uh, to get ida asanjay day here i will asanjay don't know say busy man i will try and bring asanjay day and concert like and lot of you people there you know i hope some of our brothers you know be what i accept you know to come and talk to us we have these conversations we start this you know i used to have that conversation that i used to have here called the way forward you know i want to start that way forward program again you know the way forward so that i will talk to basarians you know and everybody is also free if i bring people here you are free to call call in give your you know views you know give your views you know tell let's have the conversation let for the yoter and john that was my could me fall no halu de do i mean you know staycation on lanni and jango i will resume work i wish you all a wonderful evening allah kun walu de jam i will try and what i try me to get to those of people and maybe some of our brothers who are very uh very active in the social media uh or some of those brothers and sisters you know uh who are who we are very uh very active in this campaign period either from the npp udp or anywhere you know i will contact to some of those people and see simwawa he would have do one or time are you thing you know for the way forward that is the that is the next pro, that is the pro, the program i will be having now and i will be calling it the way the open conversation on the way forward the way forward is what what do we want for the next five years you know what kind of leadership what kind of changes do we wa- want for our people what kind of projects do we want to see you know that the government of the gambia you know bring to our communities and we can only have those things if we have good leadership you know everything start with that people who like our national assembly members our local elected people you know people who can who can fight for those projects you know i hope i hope we have that we have to start that conversation now Oh, I wish you all a wonderful evening. Kodun wa dunno lan do min ni mara mi hala do do mi yeju today. So no but I will I will get to my my dude as my panel Asanjayte try to bring him here. You know, uh to try to see if Asanjayte will have time to come that we have this and Alpha Omar also I Alpha Omar Ronaldo. I will try to have you on the panel and I will try to have some of you like you know some of these brothers some of anybody any of anybody who here this sanani or community all the dog on about the way forward just like my whatsapp number there or on facebook just write to me write to me or send me tell me you want to you think you are interested in you know you have some you the and got your mind of all the film we come and talk about it we have to start it and for the food that you are telling you know joni joni food that you today the political parties did because then and the himbe men yo be no tawai the political parties did so ben fo ben fo ben fo ben wadde rewde ben ben kadi haray be wawai tawede wadde influence the political parties ma be be wada choose the right people for us you know so we do what mean ni fo do den yowtere nen joni so alla ko en walde jam ko min musido mo pubakar go bijo jalo ciao